Hi there, it's Nisha and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Chinese takeout style tofu and broccoli in the Instant Pot. This is a recipe from my brand new cookbook, The Vegan Instant Pot Cookbook, and I can't wait to share it with you. It's really easy to make and incredibly flavorful. The first step in this recipe is to press out the excess water in the tofu. I'm using extra firm tofu, which is the best variety when you're stir frying it, as in this recipe, and I've covered it in a bunch of paper towels, and then I I put a heavy skillet on top of it. That's generally how I press tofu, and I let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes, um, and I change the paper towels in between. And now I've got this block of tofu that is pretty much removed of all the excess water. And the reason you wanna do that is if you don't, your tofu will get waterlogged, it won't get crispy, and it won't be as flavorful. So I'm just gonna cut the tofu into cubes, and then I'm going to marinate it in these ingredients right here, just for like five minutes to get it a little bit more flavorful. I've got a gallon size zip top bag and I'm gonna put the tofu directly in there. If you don't wanna use plastic, you can go ahead and put it in a shallow pie plate or something like that. Pour the marinade on top and massage it with your hands. And then you can just go ahead and pour the marinade ingredients directly on top. We've got some gluten-free soy sauce and then I've got some sriracha. I also have some toasted sesame oil and finally some rice wine or rice vinegar. Just get all of the air out of the bag and massage it. And then we'll just let the tofu sit here for about five minutes to get the marinade on it. In addition to the tofu, the other main ingredient in this dish is broccoli. So I'm gonna chop up these broccoli heads into some florets and that will go in after the tofu gets cooked in the pressure cooker. For this recipe, I'm going to make a sauce using these ingredients. We've got some tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce. You can use regular soy sauce if you want. Just keep in mind, it won't be gluten-free. Then we've got some agave nectar. You can also use coconut nectar. Also got some water. Sriracha. If you don't have sriracha, you can use another chili uh, garlic type of hot sauce. Also have some toasted sesame oil, which is gonna really perfume this sauce with a really distinct nutty aroma. And then some rice wine vinegar or rice vinegar, they're the same thing. Just gonna be the source of acid. And then we have some finely grated or minced ginger. I've got the Instant Pot on the saute setting, and once it heats up, I'm going to add some oil to saute the tofu. You can use any neutral oil you like. I've got some sunflower seed oil. You can use grape seed oil or vegetable oil or whatever you like. I want the pan to be really hot for this tofu so it gets crispy on the outside, so I'm gonna wait until the Instant Pot display reads hot. That's when you know it's time to add the tofu. I've got this slotted spoon and I'm going to use it to scoop the tofu out of the bag, leaving any excess marinade behind, and we're gonna saute the tofu for about 90 seconds. You're gonna let the tofu cook undisturbed for about 90 seconds, don't touch it for that period, and then you're gonna use a spatula like this to move it around so it can get cooked evenly on all sides. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this sauce that we made earlier directly to the Instant Pot. I've coated all the tofu in the sauce and now we're gonna pressure cook it for three minutes at high pressure. The final ingredients in this dish are the cornstarch slurry. So I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of water to two tablespoons of cornstarch and whisk that together to make a slurry. And once the tofu and broccoli are done cooking, I will pour that into the sauce, which will help thicken it. So after the tofu cooks, you're gonna do a quick pressure release, which means you're gonna move the valve to the venting position as soon as the timer goes off to release the steam. And now we're going to add the broccoli into the Instant Pot and let that pressure cook for just a minute. Mm. 
Now that I've added the broccoli, I'm going to pressure cook it again just for one minute and we're gonna do it at low pressure so the broccoli doesn't uh, get overcooked. So you wanna hit that pressure level button so it says low and then reduce it to one minute. The broccoli and tofu are done cooking. It was just one minute in the Instant Pot, so it was very quick. And now I'm gonna do a quick pressure release to let all the steam out. I'm gonna hit the saute button right here, and I'm gonna go down to less heat. So depending on your model, you might just need to push the saute button again until it says less right here. I don't want it to be too hot, and I don't want anything to burn. And then I'm gonna pour in this cornstarch slurry, and that's gonna help thicken up the sauce. After everything's been sauteed for a couple minutes, I'm gonna serve the tofu and broccoli. I have some white rice here today, but you can also use brown rice or any kind of grain you like. This is so flavorful. It's spicy, it's a little bit sweet from the agave. It's got that nice toasted sesame flavor. It's just so flavorful, I, I'm sure you're gonna love it. If you don't love spicy food, go easy on the sriracha, but if you love spicy food like I do, go ahead and add as much sriracha as you like. I hope you enjoyed this recipe for a Chinese takeout style tofu and broccoli from my cookbook, The Vegan Instant Pot Cookbook. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.